What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are on episode two of playing Paleo. So I have done quite a lot since our last episode. So first things first, my skill levels have increased a lot. So last time I think I was only at like level three or four in most skills. Now I am level 10 in hunting, level eight in foraging, seven in mining, six in furniture making, six in cooking, five in fishing, and then four in gardening and bug catching. So I just thought it'd be better if I went ahead and got my skills up because it was quite a lot of grinding and now that I'm finally here, we can kind of get moving on some other things and really start to progress through the game. I also did expand my house quite a bit. So I expanded the lot to be a lot bigger. So we have gardening in our little garden over here. And then over here, we have kind of like the forging and mining area and the whole setup. So I got a loom right here and then a glass maker as well as like my little crafting table and then obviously these little crafting furnaces. I have quite a bit of stuff that I've been brewing up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some clay in and then in this one I think I had copper and I will go ahead and put the silver bars in. And then I also just expanded my house. So I furnished it quite a bit, but I have not seen this expansion. So this little hallway and this room are brand new. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out because I have not seen it yet. Oh, I, I do need to move some stuff. So let me just go ahead and pick this stuff up. But yeah, so this is the house. I'm planning to have this be like the little bedroom area. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of remodel that really quick and then we will get progressing with everything. I'm still in the process of like furniture making and kind of progressing through that. So everything is a little weird right now and in weird spots with how small my house was. I kind of just had to cram everything in, but it looks like we can expand quite a bit now. So we have more than enough room. Uh, let me go ahead and place this bed down. Where do I want this? I think I'm going to do the bed like right here because I might add like a little small crafting room right here in the future. I think I'm going to move this. Oh goodness, what is going on? Okay, so I think I'm going to move this over here and have this be like the living room area. And then have the kitchen over in this corner. Boom. I need to add more rugs and change the flooring for sure. Those are on my top priority list. I think I'm gonna put this little gardening box right there. And then we got this little industrial dresser. I think this might go in here. I'm trying to get the industrial in here, so hopefully I can get the bed here soon and craft that, but at the moment we do not have that. And then I'll put that right there. This little plant is gonna go in this corner. And then all of the kitchen stuff, I think I'll put the pantry a great or maybe i'll put the mm, no maybe not in a window in front of a window and then the sink maybe the sink can go in front of the window perfect and then oh this is what i was looking for although i might take this out because we don't really need it it looks like hmm what should i do with you we're just gonna place it right here for right now and then i'll change that once we get some more furniture in there and then this, I think, is the prep station. Hmm. I might need to move some things around. Wait a sec. Okay, so let's put this over here. And this video isn't going to be as long of an episode as my last video. I don't have as much time to film today. But I'm hoping I can get longer parts out for this series. So hopefully the next ones are going to be a little bit longer. But I just want to make as many videos as I can and keep you guys updated. Because this game is so fun and I don't want to keep progressing without you guys being here. Is this the prep station? This is the mixing station. This is for baking. We're going to go ahead and put this over here. I think we're going to expand this at some point and, you know, make a little bake area. But for right now... I think this is going to be our setup. Da, 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 da. Hmm. I almost wonder if I should put the kitchen right there. I think I might put the kitchen right there, actually, now that I think about it. I do like this little couch where it is, though, so I'm going to leave that and try to work around it. We'll put that like that, and then we'll put the sink right here in front of this window, and then we'll put the mixing station. Perfect. Yeah, this will be a better setup. Hmm. Okay, and then we'll put... I think I'm gonna put the couch there and then I'll put this bookshelf thing right here. Boom. And then we'll go ahead and put this in this corner because I like this in this corner better. And then get this little stool. 
And, oh, should I put the rug right here, actually? No, I think I'm going to get a different rug for that spot. And then let's go run and get this little oven. And we'll put that in the kitchen as well. I haven't really dabbled in baking yet, but I'm hoping that I can do that here soon. It's not too shabby. I mean, it's definitely not, like, too artsy or anything, but, you know, we're getting there. I think I might move this table just a smidge. All right, I like that. That's not too bad for right now. We got a little mix of everything at the moment, but that's okay. And then in here, we have the little bedroom. Oh, I guess I could put something in the hallway. Let's put this in the hallway. Is that too clunky? Yeah, that might be too clunky. Maybe just like this plant. Yeah, that's not too shabby for right now. We'll change it here soon once we get more furniture, but I think this is a good setup for right now. But yeah, so this is my plot. This is all the way, it goes all the way back here. And then I even expanded it all the way back there a little bit too. I just haven't been able to expand out there yet because I don't have much to. But I had a lot of renown, so I figured I'd spend it on getting some more land. And then we can kind of go from there. Oh, wait, I forgot I have some wall decor to hang. Let's hang that really quick. Oh, I guess we could plant, we could, we could, oh, we'll place that right there. This can go right there. Add some sort of wall decor and then we'll put that right there. That's from a legendary Cernuk that I killed that I was very proud of. And we will definitely be hunting more legendaries here in the future. Oh, wait, let's put the pots and pans there. We'll put this right here. And then we'll put the, oh, stop grabbing that. We'll put this right above the prep station perfect yeah i think that's that's good to start all right let's go check on my farm really quick we gotta weed a couple things yeah so i realized you can make a lot of money from farming so i definitely wanted to get a lot of crops specifically apples so this apple tree makes me a lot of money and then also the tomatoes and potatoes as well make me a lot of money so farming is definitely a good way to get income in this game and then also crafting as well you'll definitely need to be crafting a lot of stuff i figured out that fabric is definitely a necessity of 24 fabric and leather those will come into play a lot so if you have cerna hides and you don't know what to do with them yet just collect them or collect as many as you can for right now because they will definitely come into use in the future i also have a lot of wood planks because you need a lot of those i'll go ahead and brew some more and then i also got some of these heartwood planks which you get from the pine trees in bahari bay oh let's go ahead and craft some more too perfect all right so our farm is farming we are good to go i need to craft some arrows really quick and then we're gonna go out hunting and get our skills up in some sense oh oh wait okay wait we need those come here okay we'll just keep those ones we have a lot of those planks for right now okay we're gonna craft a lot of arrows Yeah, and every single time I go to Bahari Bay, I always make sure to get iron. You need a lot of iron, especially if you have the industrial um, furniture kit, which is right here. Oh, we can craft a couch. That's okay. We'll hold off on that right now. Oh, I forgot. I got the pantry. I crafted that last time. Oh, maybe we'll do the capital theme in our bedroom. I think that might be a good setup. But yeah, so iron is definitely important for all of those and crafting a lot of them. So definitely make sure you're getting a lot of iron when you're going to Bahari Bay. I think I can also craft... I think we can go hunt... Uh, yeah, we can go hunt legendary. So let's go ahead and go do that. We'll get a couple legendary hides from Cernox and Chapas. Yeah, we have enough. We'll craft 20. I don't think we have enough for two, but we'll go ahead and craft a little bit. Yeah, we should be okay. And then food is also very important to keep your focus up so that you level up faster. So I'd highly recommend keeping all your food and just cooking it because you will need it in the future. I'm going to go ahead and fill my food up right now. Perfect. Just to make sure that I'm all maxed out. And then we will go ahead and put these arrows over here because we don't really need them in the front of our inventory. But this horn we will need. All right, let's go ahead and go to Bahari Bay. I might see if I can hunt anything on the way over. Maybe a couple Cernux. Actually, I might just wait till we get to Bahari Bay because that usually has Elder Cernux and you need Elder Cernux antlers to 
craft this little legendary horn once you get to level 8, which I find extremely useful. I use the horn quite a bit, but you need a lot of antlers for that, so make sure you're saving your elder antlers if you have them. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and get these mushrooms for cooking, though. we got to go to the outskirts, and it takes me a little sec to get to the outskirts because I don't fast travel yet. So I will go ahead and skip this to when I am there. Oh, should we hunt Cernux or Choppas? I haven't hunt legendary Cer or uh, Choppas yet, but they are a little harder to kill. Should we do those? Maybe we'll do those next episode. I think the Cernux are a little more fun to hunt because they transport fast and so you have to really catch them fast and see if you can get them so we're gonna go over here plus we can get a lot of iron when you go to the outskirts so i highly recommend if you need iron definitely go to the outskirts i know that they have a lot kind of by beach comb cove but i have found that the outskirts have a lot more iron if that is what you're looking for so i definitely recommend doing that to get there you just have to go through this cave and then you just jump down here <clears throat> And you take this far exit over here and it will drop you out into the outskirts. You can also fast travel, but I prefer just to go regular so I don't have to spend my coins. Oh, I did get an axe though, so I can I can mine Palium now. So if there is Palium nearby, I am able to mine it. Let's see. That is iron. Which I guess we could use some iron, but I want to see if there's any Palium because I haven't I haven't mined that yet. Uh, that might be up here. It's usually throughout this cave, but sometimes you can find it out in the outskirts as well. I found that it's more in this cave, though. Oh, he just got some. I guarantee it. Is there any more? I'll help you, dude. Yeah, I also figured out that in the last episode when I thought that I was stealing everyone's stuff. I wasn't. <gasps> Did you just get something? Dang it. Um, if you shoot something once and then someone else shoots it, you both get the... You both get the reward. So that's what was happening. Was I was shooting. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. I want to come. I want to come. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me help you. Are you going to come help me? I'm not doing this on my own, dude. You can get over here and you can help me. No, I'm not doing it on my own. You can help me. We can teamwork this. I'm not wasting my axe for you. I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah, don't think that I'm going to do all the work for you, my guy. A lot of people try to do that. They'll hit it once and then they'll let you do it because you waste your axe and they don't. And I learned that the hard way. And I'm not doing it anymore for people, okay? So if they want to teamwork this stuff, they're going to have to learn to do it together. I'm not being the one that does all the work and you get the prize. Let's see. Is there any other Palium? So I haven't really tested out what Palium does, but I know that it's valuable. So I definitely want to mine it. And then once the time comes, I'll actually have it in my inventory and I won't have to come back here. So maybe if we can find a couple more Palium, that would be cool. But I don't know... It's kind of hard to find sometimes. It's very rare. It's kind of like uh, diamonds in Minecraft. You you just have to keep searching, you know, and then you just find it randomly. So I don't think we're going to get any more. I think we just got lucky with that one, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and go out to the outskirts and hunt a legendary really quick. I think I'm just going to hunt a legendary and then maybe do a couple other things and then call it good. We'll just go head out to the outskirts. Sometimes you can find them in the ruins out here. So we'll go ahead and check. They have little guides too to show you where to find all the best paleum. I haven't really checked it out because I haven't needed paleum, but now that I have it i might go look so hopefully in the next episode i'll know where to look and then i also figured out how to mine flow trees which flow trees will get you uh flow wood or some sort of wood it's purple but you will need that to craft this horn and a lot of other things as you progress throughout the game so i definitely recommend if you find flow trees you will need a teamwork with other people and have other players mine it with you because you can't really mine it by yourself unless you have a really good axe if you do not have a really good axe then i highly recommend just chatting and just enter into the chat that you found a flow tree and people will come meet you and they will mine it with you and you both get the reward so to hunt the cernux i usually go up to this little rock up here and then i will hunt the legendaries and see when they pop up and then i'll go find them I think I'm going to hunt a couple in the meantime, though, on our way up, because this usually has a lot of Cernux around. Oh, yep. Really? Oh, okay. I was like, I missed that? 
it just lagged on me a little. I totally thought I missed those. I've gotten a lot better at hunting, as you can tell. I'm level 10, so I've been practicing a lot with my hunting. So hopefully I don't disappoint and embarrass myself on this. So that would be really, really sad if I found a legendary and I couldn't kill it. Let's go ahead and get our arrows, and then we will use our horn so it's gonna show up in that little corner it looks like someone's hunting something else as well so there's two legendaries i think it's the legendary uh what is that i have no idea what they're hunting in legendaries but they have something legendary going on but yeah i usually just hang out on this rock until it pops up on my compass which it hasn't yet but you have 15 minutes to find legendaries and i found that usually in that 15 minutes you can get two or three kills I haven't really found like a use for them though. The only thing you get that are legendary are the horns, but you just get regular Cernuk hide. So I'm kind of confused as to how that works and how you get money from them or how it like really differs from everything else. So I don't really know on that. We're just gonna mine this iron really quick while we're waiting because there's usually a lot of iron around here. Yeah, I found so much more iron in the outskirts than I have over in Bahari Bay or in um beachcomb cove this is the place to go oh there we go oh shoot i didn't realize he's that close to me no my bow's not gonna reach that we're just gonna have to go hunt him a lot of people will team up with you too when you're hunting the legendaries so if you are running out of arrows or anything like that just wait because people will come help you just make sure that you get a hit on it otherwise you won't get the reward and that would be really shitty if you had blown your horn and done all of that work just to not get the rewards so definitely make sure dang it dude this is so much harder than last time last time i had him so easily oh yes okay i got one hit on him so now he can't teleport because i hit him with the dispel arrows so that limits his magical abilities for a second to help you track him but then obviously he will be able to use it here soon where do you just go oh Oh, come on. Okay, hit him a couple times. So he should be going down in here in the next hit. And he's going to teleport probably. Oh. Yep, he just teleported. Come on, someone help me. Someone help me, please. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I just got him. Perfect. And no one helped me. Haha. <laughs> there should be a couple more popping up here in a second. Yeah, that was really crappy. I killed the first one <laughs> that I got in like two seconds when it arrived. So that was really not the way i was expecting that to go but that's okay at least we got him uh, i think i need to go back this way i chased that one for quite a bit so i think i went away from the spawning spot ah yes he popped up okay cool let me make sure i have my dispel arrows yeah i do okay oh i only have eight left oof i spent quite a lot on that one no don't okay that someone was going for him We're going to kind of have to slow hunt this one because I'm running out of arrows and I don't trust myself to get him. At least I got him once, so if anyone else gets him. Ah, oh, shoot. I had him. Come back! <gasps> yes, okay, I got him before he transferred. Perfect. Let's go. Where are you? Okay. Okay, I have five left, so I should be able to get him. If I don't, that's going to be really sad. Okay. I think he needs one more, and then we'll be okay. Where did he just go? Oh. Oh, no. Come on. No! He's about to transfer. Dang it. Okay. Anyone want to help me out? God damn. Oh, never mind. I just got him. Perfect. And we have one left. Shoot. Can I get this sweet leaf? Sweet leaf is also important for ingredients, so make sure you get a lot of that. Let's see if we can get some more. Shoot. Oh, that should have hit. I got to see if I can get more elder antlers so I can craft more horns. Oh my gosh. That was trash. It was so bad. <laughs> there we go. 
Yeah, if one pops up, we'll try to use our last arrow on him and hope- Oh, sweet, I just leveled up to level 11. If another one pops up, we'll see if we can just get one hit on him and see if someone else will just hunt him for us. We should at least get one more, but then again, sometimes it differs, so. Yeah, like up this way, I think is where we need to go. That's kind of the sweet spot. So it's in between, if you want to know where to kind of hang out, it's this rock in between P Proudhorn Pass and in between the outskirts. This or this rock, these two usually do pretty well. But yeah, they drop, let me see. Oh, did they not drop anything? Sometimes they don't drop legendary stuff. Ah, oh, they didn't even drop anything. <laughs> That's so stupid. See, I don't understand why they don't have like a legendary hide that you can kill, because that would be perfect. But they do not, which kind of sucks because every once in a while you'll get like legendary antlers. But other than that, you won't get them a lot. So it kind of sucks. We're almost out. We almost ran out of time. We'll go back over this way. Come on, one more at least. Just give me one more, please. Please, just one more. For the sake of the plot, just give me one more. <laughs> just us three for the Paleum. Um, so someone's hunting Paleum in the cave. Shoot. I would go join them, but I want to wait and see if we have one more that spawns. Yeah, the chat's always very useful. I've made a couple friends through the chat. So definitely, if you have no one to play this game with, I recommend going to the chat and just looking up... Seeing if anyone wants to come hunt with you or mine Paleum, you'll usually get a couple takers and then you can always friend them and have them come back to your plot and hang out with them. Doesn't look like any others are spawning. Shoot. Oh, there's some more iron over there. Oh, there's a bright shroom. Let's go get that. Bright shrooms are definitely important too because you need those to get the arrows, the dispel arrows. Yeah, it looks like nothing else is spawning. Dang it. Yeah, and if you have any tips on hunting legendaries, please let me know. I would definitely take those. Because I'm not the best at hunting them, as you can tell. I'm still kind of in the early stages of hunting them. But I want to see kind of, you know, if there's anything that can help me maximize the quality of them or just maximize hunting them to get, you know, the most possible. We didn't get it. All right, let's go ahead back to the caves and we will see if we can get any more paleon before heading back home. You can always fast travel through these maps, but I don't really want to spend the cash because we're just going to get some stuff on the way home, so. <gasps> Flow trees at flooded steps. Where's flooded steps? What the f People are Oh, flooded steps. Oh, we're right there. Wait, I'm coming. Let's see if they will wait for me. Sometimes they don't wait for me. Where, where, where is it? Huh? Ah! Yes! Huh? Okay, we're just gonna do this all together. Perfect! There we go. Perfect! Okay, so we got flow infused wood. That is always very good. So I'm glad that we at least got that. And then let's go see if we can get some paleum as well. And then this will be a successful trip. <gasps> be on the lookout if you see anything. Not like you could let me know, but you could scream at the screen. <gasps> Perfect. Girlfriend, I am not doing this by myself. I am not doing it. You can do it. Oh, we'll let this dude do it. Why? Why is everyone so annoying about that? Like, what? what is the big issue about sharing your axe? I'm so sorry. There you go, you little twats, dude. People are twats. Little brats, man. They don't want to use their little pickaxe. What's the big deal? Next one I get, I'm just taking that for myself. Screw you guys. I ain't getting teamwork if you guys are all gonna be brats like that. That was a good one though. We got five, so that's quality. We'll take that. Is that Paleum? No, that's not Paleum. Okay. It'll be kind of glowy, so it should be pretty obvious. 
pretty rare. Sometimes I feel like you only get like one in the cave and then people will find it elsewhere and you have to go rush to them to try to get it. Are you fishing, my guy? Getting a little fishing done? I'm gonna fish right next to you because I'll get bonus points. And we will skill up faster. So if you fish with others or if you like hang out with others while you're doing activities, you'll level up faster by doing it with them. So whenever I see people like fishing or doing anything like that, I try to hop on with them because then I'll level up faster. Oh, what is this? I don't think I've caught this fish before. He just caught like an eel, which was kind of sick. Oh. Oh, he's got another one. How do you get those? An eyeless minnow. That's definitely a new fish. Okay, let's see if I can get whatever he's getting. Oh, he's hunting legendary fish. That's why he's getting them. Oh, I don't have bait though. I didn't get any worms. Shoot, I don't know if I'll get anything. <gasps> ah! Oh, that looks legendary. Nope, nope, nope. Please don't lose. No, no, no. Please don't lose. Oh my god, this guy's playing me right now. Oh my gosh. An urban crap? <laughs> what? What kind of fish is that? All right, let's get a couple more legendaries since he's hunting them. Let's see if we can get anything good because those will sell for good money. If you can get quality legendary fishes, you can level up very fast and you get a lot of good money from it, I think. So definitely if you see people fishing over here, come fish with them and get... Ooh, ooh, see if you can get any le legendaries. It's only when that little green bar is active, though, up in that little corner underneath my name. That is when you will get the legendary fishes because that's when they just activated their little um what is it called i think it's like a trident or some something like that that you get once you get to level eight in fishing but i'm clearly not there so this dude just left me maybe he found it somewhere else so he's going to a different pond it kind of works the same as hunting like it just shows you where to go all right we'll take those okay we're gonna go ahead and move on i don't think there's any paleum here we're just gonna head back to our plot and sell all of this stuff. I'm gonna go over here to this little valley, valley because there's usually a couple Cernux that you can get. If there's any legendary choppas, that would be awesome because then I can use that last arrow and then hopefully someone else will kill him. Come on, someone be hunting legendary choppas, please. Doesn't look like it. All right, we'll just head home and then we'll hunt legendary choppas in the next episode. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Really, really? Dude, it's glitching so hard right now. <laughs> Come on, I hit a tree. Give me a break. Really? I missed? You gotta be shitting me. Dude, what is- <laughs> This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Stop, dude. I'm this- I'm trash right now. How am I not getting- No, this is glitching. I'm not hunting right now. There's no way. Unless I'm just making excuses for myself. But that looked like it hit like two out of the three times of those- Kenyaks that I killed or should have killed so I'm not gonna try any longer it looks like it's just glitching out for a moment so the shipping bin just went off but we're gonna go ahead and sell these guys 47 gold that's pretty solid 20 eh, 30 so that one was better and then all these Cernuk hides dang I didn't get as many Cernuks as I thought I did that's sad it's okay we'll sell these two I have so much meat, so... Actually, let's sell these ones. These ones are quality. And we'll keep these ones for cooking. Alright, $1,100. I'll take it. That's not too shabby. Gold? I have quite a bit of gold, too. I, oh, I only have six. I thought I had more. But you get gold when you're hunting, like... Or when you're mining iron and stuff. You'll get lots of gold every once in a while. And I think that's the only way to get gold. Because I haven't seen, like, an actual gold ore... So I don't know how useful gold is or how much you need it, but I just figured I'd save it for whenever the time comes. Let's go ahead and check these. Yeah, that's going to take a minute. Cool. Oh, we have more iron. We should craft that instead of these. I'm just going to go ahead and swap these out really quick. All right. And then we're doing good on the wood, I think. Yeah, 37. I try to craft as much of this wood as possible because when you expand your house, you'll need that and stone. So I try to just stay updated with, you know making the wood planks so that way i don't really have to wait or you know go mine too much or chop down trees i mean sorry when i am expanding my house all right oh we got a couple tomatoes let's go sell all these tomatoes really quick and then we'll 
go ahead and update these and water them really quick. Yeah, and there's like fertilizer and stuff that you can get to not have to water your plants so much, which I was doing for quite a bit, but I stopped doing it recently. The apples sell for a lot of money, so if you can get apples, definitely do. We just went up to 1500 from selling those tomatoes. And then we got a couple seeds, so I'm going to plant those really quick. I try to spread them out so they can get like the benefits from all the other plants so like right now if you look at it the potatoes are getting water retainment from the tomatoes and then the potatoes are also getting growth boosts from the apple tree right next to it so you can kind of look at this and see what's benefiting what the potatoes and tomatoes do the same thing for other plants so that's why all of mine are just getting water retainment but some have harvest boosts some have um quality boost like there's a bunch of different stuff so if you plant them right next to each other you'll benefit your plants a lot and then you'll be able to sell them for more all right let's go ahead and cook some food really quick just so next time we are all good to go plus we just got all of those ingredients so why not we're just gonna chop our little onions or whatever we're chopping right now and then add them in here do do do, do a little cooking boom all right and that will usually give you three, so they add up quite fast, which I recommend doing. I want to get another room, but I'm going to save up for the $8,000 one, so we're going to hold off for a sec. And then we will go ahead and expand our property, so that way I can put this loom and stuff in there. And then expand the tent and everything, and then buy some more soil so we can have a bigger garden. So I think I'm going to call that good on this episode. We went and hunted some good legendaries. Got a couple good ones. We didn't get any legendary antlers, which wasn't the best. But that's okay. We can wait till next time. And then the choppas, you usually get like a legendary choppa tail. So hopefully we can go get that in the next one as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you are enjoying this series, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more about Paleo. I am a smaller channel, so I always appreciate the support. No matter how big or small, it helps me out so much more than you think. So definitely make sure to like this video and share your thoughts if you are enjoying Paleo and if you want me to post more about Paleo. If you have any questions or want me to make a video about something specific, make sure to drop that in the comments and I can do that as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day slash night and I'll see you next time. Peace.